Howdy folks. Connor keeps reminding me every six months that I've never bothered to shoot a proper presentation video of this tractor. And it still isn't perfect, but uh, it's working pretty well. Right now I'm cultivating them out in the perennial section, rhubarb there. This is a young asparagus planting here. And they're just coming up for this year. But uh, I don't know if you can see underneath. Oh, here comes a Detroit diesel killing our audio. This is the neighbor's skitter working in the... Yeah, I better just shut up until he's gone past. It's the noisiest thing on our road, without question. So yeah, we have a, what are they called? Pipinar, uh tree nursery neighbor. That's one of their pieces of equipment and it is loud. This machine, on the contrary, is quiet because it's an old Planet Junior. It's been converted to battery electric power the battery pack on the front is uh, lithium iron phosphate cells mounted. Uh, let's see. I don't know if we can read the sticker. I finally put stickers on things this year. It says 8S 26 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. And I color coded all our chargers this year so that people will know what battery to use for what. And the, this is a kilometer display. Currently we're showing 26.4 volts. Uh, current amperage draw with the controller on but idle is 134 milliamps. And countdown from last charge suggests that it's still got 92% of battery. And then that, so this is a quick connect. It was a little bit loose and it feeds this controller, which then has a couple larger wires go down to the motor, which is a brushed, low speed brushed DC motor. It's not a gear motor, it's an unusual low speed DC uh, motor from a floor scrubber, but uh, it's got more than enough torque for this application. And then unchanged drive drive line other than first stage is a roller chain and then jack shaft through to the other side and then the original Planet Junior final reduction and gear pauls. Tool on the back is a combination of tender plant hose um, which are an L-shaped blade like that and they're reaching in towards the row of asparagus. Then they're followed by Tilmore Bizarides spiders, small spiders, 10 inch, if I remember correctly. And then old PJ uh, depth wheels, all of it cobbled together on a B12 frame. And now, as a demonstration of how hard this is to do one-handed, I will try to do this one-handed. I don't know how Jason Weston does this. Maybe he's got one of those forehead cameras. So, that's me concentrating on driving. What if I concentrate on filming and do a bad job driving? There we go, killing some asparagus. Not too concerned about the asparagus. Um, and I would go faster if I had two hands free, but one of the nice things about the electric drive so I can go the speed that I want um, and as I was saying I'm not concerned about killing the asparagus these are the very first shoots of the year and this section is uh, in establishment but the walk behind is working great I'm gonna finish this row and then I'm gonna go get a, a wider uh, full coverage cultivator and try to clean up these areas in between the rows and uh, yeah, the more established asparagus down at the far end doesn't actually need any cultivation because we got figured out a pretty good uh, leaf mulch last year. So it's just this uh, fairground section. 
that needs attention. And I'm pleased to say that this uh, combination of tender plant hose and then the spiders tossing it in leaves a nice little ridge and uh, it seems to handle the trash pretty well given that the spiders do, they're not discs, but uh, they don't clog up as much as I would think with all this trash in here. And, end result, I'm pretty happy with. Happy little spare guy, not too harmed. A lot easier than doing this all by hand. Thank you, Planet Junior.